Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play New Super Mario Bros. Wii. This is World 1 Part 2, and you know what that means. Time to head underground. And here's another new item. Well, actually, it's not completely new because it appeared in the game in one game before this. It's the ice flower, and I you I can use this to freeze enemies. And the enemies I freeze, I can use as platforms. Also, if I hold the one button. Sorry about the pause break, but anyway. If I hold the one button and shape the Wii remote, I could pick I could pick up the frozen ice blocks as well as the power block. And we all know what the power block does. It destroys everything on screen. Also, any coins that's hanging in the air, it'll bring them down. Let's see. Okay, I can't do it. Oh yeah, you could do the ground pound. Why that frozen? Those platforms... The only way you can really move them is if, if once if it's activated, you know, with the corresponding person you're playing as, and then you just tilt the Wii remote. That's all. Second star coin, you have to rush up there once you activate the P switch. As you see, I got that with no problem. Oh yeah, like I said, this game is really generous with the one-ups. But the thing is, if you try to get all the star coins, you should be thanking you should be thanking Nintendo for that. Yes, the star. Which had the same effect as if I was playing Mario Galaxy. Oh yeah, you run you run into enough enemies on star mode. You'll get a one up. Okay, I think I'm going down. Okay, you see all those coins in the air. There's only one way to bring it down. Pick the power block and throw it. Like I said, the power block brings down any coins. Yeah, I think I'm going to try to get all these. And I get a one up. Eleven lives so far. Yay. Oh great. Right before the flagpole. And I ain't get a one up. I figured. Mario time. Well, next time is World One Part Three. See you guys then.